One of the most important strategies when teaching using Google Docs is the ability to create comments to give students feedback on their work. In order to create a comment, you need to select the text that you want to comment on, and then to create the comment box, you either click the Comments button followed by the Add a Comment button, or if you're on a Mac, you can select the text and hit Command-Alt-M. If you're on a PC, this would be Control-Alt-M, and you type your comments. To close the comments box, you can either click the comment button or you can hit tab enter. It does the same thing. Now, this is where the awesome stuff happens because when I give a student feedback, what I really want to know next is how are they going to change that? How are they going to improve their writing and their skills? A student can then reply back to me by clicking on the comment and typing in their reply. They do go in and they change it they can then click the resolve button telling me that they have resolved or revised that particular section that I gave them feedback on. Now one thing to be really careful on is when we resolve the comments, the comments are still retained within the history. I just have to click the comments button and I can see this comment that has been resolved. Essentially clicking the resolve button takes the comment off the margin and hides it up here, but it's still kept in the history. I can reopen the comment if I feel like they didn't do what I asked or what I suggested, and I can give them another reply. Now it's really important that when you train students to use this, that they click that resolve button to show that they're finished. You never want them to click the three dots followed by the delete button, because that will actually remove the comment completely. And when we click on this, we won't be able to see those comments. I hope this was helpful in helping you to provide students with feedback during the writing process, and please feel free to contact me on Twitter.